clinical examination of the alimentary system nausea and vomiting nausea as an isolated symptom without vomiting is much more likely to be due to depression or neurosis than primary gastrointestinal disease when nausea is associated with vomiting careful inquiry must be made about um, associated symptoms such as weight loss and abdominal pain um, which may lead um, on to the diagnosis of peptic ulceration or carcinoma um, the vomiting of um, gastric outlet obstruction is profuse and the vomitors may contain undigested food um, taken many hours previously Substantial burning or heart pain after meals um, characterizes um, gastroesophageal reflux and this may be aggravated by lying down or bending over. Vomiting of um, fresh or um, altered blood as hematemesis um, is usually a serious symptom indicative of an um, ulcerative lesion of the upper gastroesophageal um, gastrointestinal tract as far as the second part of the duodenum however severe um, retching um, as with an alcoholic binge may tear the mucosa of the gastroesophageal junction to cause um, fresh bleeding and is known as the malory weiss um, syndrome recurrent periodic vomiting is a feature of migraine in young adults so inquire about um, associated headache with the bowels of vomiting effortless and um, unexpected um, vomiting of raised intracranial pressure um, is relatively uncommon and is um, usually accompanied by other more prominent features of the primary disease um, other non um, gastrointestinal causes of nausea and vomiting include um, uremia hypercalcemia and um, digoxin toxicity i remember the possibility of pregnancy as a cause of vomiting in women in the reproductive years